Hello, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, we left off in the last episode working on our hydrogen generator and continuing to make progress towards our uh, volcano uh, generator. So we will pick up where we left off there. Don't want another person, so let's just do like gold amalgam for now. Our food supply is getting a little questionable again, which is concerning. Um, and it looks like we're just running out of material. So hopefully that will self-resolve, but I'm not, not super confident. Um, I am cleaning out and getting these uh, stone hatches, getting rid of all these uh, regular hatches so that they can be replaced. So let's let that happen. Why is there water everywhere? Um, we do need to make some progress here, but I'm more concerned about getting this squared away first. Um, although this is pretty much almost done. I'm not... Not too worried about it. I don't want this mass to the mass of liquid to be too high. Um, this is probably sufficient. I'll cut the pipe on the outside in case I ever need to add any more in the future. I won't have to tap into here again. I don't think this is going to be enough. This one pump is just not, it's not getting everything out that I need to get out. And we only have nine cycles left. So I think what I might have to do is just add another temporary pump. Just to help get some more of this gas out. Uh, where can I put it? I can put it up here, I can put it here. I mean, let's just, why not? We'll just hook two up. We'll get the ventilation hooked up. That can come out. That can come out here as well. And power-wise, we'll just tap into this heavy watt spline that's coming through here. We'll just do like a priority eight on all that. Get that all squared away. Just to try to get all the air pumped out of here before we hit this cycle, because I really want to get this going and I need to make sure everything's kind of cleared out of here. And then we'll just deconstruct that afterwards. Uh, as far as down here goes, we need to start kind of framing out what we want to do in regards to capturing this. So I think what we need to do is do like a mesh tile with steel. And I think we have to do something like this. I'm not 100% sure how exactly this works, but I recall there being like this staircase type mesh tile thing that happened. And that leaves just one spot available for the liquid to spawn. And then that goes against a steel mechanized oh no no it goes against the metal tile and that's how the heat gets conducted between the the two different places that's a little tricky here because there's another like thing right here uh, but i think we could just go down like this and have this mechanized airlock be the the tool that is used to, to bridge that gap. I'm sure this is wrong, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it and we'll fix it along the way. Uh that's not what I want to do. I wanted to cancel. But I need to make like an airlock over here, I think. So 
So let's go ahead and get that started. Actually, that airlock needs to be moved down just a little bit. So let's go ahead and... We can do that. No, we don't need to do that. We need the ladder to come down here for now. And then we can go ahead and dump some some liquid into there. Actually, I th I don't know. This has to go up one. I'm not I'm not I'm not doing that right. That's all right. It'll all work out in the end. Just dig that out. They just need space to be able to get back up. Uh, like that. Alright, let's go ahead and put our bottle emptier in here. No? I think I gotta deconstruct that first, because it can't reach. And then... Maybe we can move this up by one just in case that's necessary. That is definitely not what I wanted to happen. But that's all right. All right, so this mesh tile, we're going to have to... I don't know what's supposed to go down here, but I'm just going to close it off for now. Yeah, this is eventually going to be a problem because the temperature from this is going to boil this water out unless I get all the air out and there is no air to be an issue there. Which is something we can do. It's just going to take some doing. I'm going to leave this open for the time being so they can get in there and, and do the work they need to do. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do over here yet. Because I'm going to need to almost have like an extended space. And you know what? In hindsight, what I should have done is go in the other direction. So that way it's not interfering with this. And actually, it's not so far along that I can, that that's going to be a problem. We could still make the entry point here. All of this becomes kind of unnecessary, but, and then I have to remove all of this. But I think that's what we'll do. I think that makes more sense. That way I don't have to get all janky with where the steam turbine is going to be and everything. So we'll wait for that to all get, you know, undone. Everything we just did. Let's get a ladder going over here. So that they can get over here and do some work. All right, starvation. Nobody should be starving. There's no food issues. They are continuing to build this plastic ladder, which I'm very grateful for they seem to be making some pretty good progress on that how is this coming along we are definitely churning out a fair amount of uh stuff here i don't know necessarily enough that's going any faster but i i think once in a while because they're all sharing the same pipe but i think once in a while the the same type of material will hit and it ends up being a net uh, a net gain overall so we'll just keep going with that for now eventually we're gonna have to and actually I think we could probably do this now we'll just close this off
We have seven more cycles to fully sort this out, but for the time being, this should should be okay. The good thing about closing this off is that it should make sure this gas pump is doing the most important thing in getting this room cleared out. That that That's kind of the high priority there. Uh, this we can always continue to, to pump out. Because really, that's just meant to be a vacuum so the heat transfer doesn't uh, ultimately burn these out. Let's go ahead and wall this off as well. I think we're we're good there for now. I don't know if three's enough or too much, but we'll start with that and we'll we'll kind of work our way over from there. I should have probably put some of the temp shift plates in here. Oh, I don't want to shut this yet. Um I need to get this gas bumped out of here. So I guess we'll just leave that be for now and cross our fingers, hope it gets all cleared out in the next seven cycles or so. I'm not super confident it will, but you know, hope here's the hoping. Um, okay, so let's redo what we were doing over here. We want some steel mesh going on here. Uh, nope. That's wrong. That's right. Okay. All right. So I feel like this is how it was. I don't know if it's like a distance thing or, or what, but I'll go ahead and run with this for now. We'll see what exactly that ends up being like. Uh, this now needs to be... Steel tile and steel tile and then some mechanized airlocks to control the heat transfer between those two metal tiles. And then over here, we end up with a steam turbine area, which is just a typical, you know, water setup in here which I think we could just do like this we'll just slap some insulated tile down get that room all built out now if I was smart and I'm not I would take the opportunity to try to dig this all out Once it, you know, like kind of in a vacuum, but I'm sure I'll screw that up. Oh, this needs to be dug out too. I can't have this uh, material here. All right, so if I get this all built up. Yeah, it's all a vacuum right now because there is still a water lock here. So hopefully I can maybe dig around this whole thing, get it all built out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I think this is starting to, to take the shape that it needs to take. I'm going to have to like wall this off right here, but for the time being. Oh, we got some, some air in there. Unfortunate. That's all right. Let's go back here and take a look at what we got going on. Still got chlorine kicking around here. Will you guys pump this out already? Crazy. How long is this going to take? 
I do need to add some sort of like liquid here to cool this. Also, I did not have to make that out of steel, but I, I did, so. Oops. All right, this is starting to get disabled down here, so I'm hoping we're kind of hitting the tail end uh, down here. Let's take a look at what we got. Uh, don't want any of this, so I'll just take some brine. Because at least then we could use it for a water lock. Uh, we could actually put it right here. And we could do auto bottle, that's fine. Okay, so our Slickster setup, I think we're going to have to migrate it down here uh, because we have more carbon dioxide down here now. And this is not going to be as significant of a uh, a buildup here anymore, I don't think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it will be better. We're going to want to clear this all out here anyway. All right. I did not measure. And I probably should have. How big this has to be. Uh, we can put one here. And one here. Probably should have moved that over one. So that the wall can come up on the end there. So I think two is sufficient. It's a minor volcano, so I don't think it's uh, as big of a deal. But let's go ahead and I don't think I need the ladder over here anymore because they already went down in there and seem to be clearing that out just fine. One good thing is we already kind of have the um the water <laughs> in here uh, i don't think it's enough but it's at least a, a start i probably could let this go uh there's so much water down here that the the magma would probably be fine and just uh solidify almost immediately the problem is that the kick out it start kicking out a lot of steam and that can be uh problematic Go ahead and deconstruct that so he can actually get out of there. So he's not like suffocating. That would be ideal. Uh, how are we doing plastic wise? Okay, this is uh, coming along. It's almost done. Our ladder is almost completely figured out. Uh, we can mop that up. I don't think it's a super big hurry, but. Looks like our gas pipe is uh, full. How are we doing over here? Okay, so this is a vacuum. Officially. So we want this to send a signal if it's below... 150C. Right? Because the issue is... It has to be hot enough to run the turbine. And the turbine's 125C. That's the lowest it could bring this down to. But if it's too low, it's not gonna um it's never gonna get down to that temperature and you know sink all of its heat properly. So uh what is going on with you, dude? Um Emergency. Let's get that going. All right, you don't need to be building that. You need to get out of there. Why are you not able to get out of there? Oh, I see. How is this a thing?
How did you get that stuck? Okay, why are you not going? Are you kidding me? How did any of that happen? Okay, that's got to be why you can't go, right? Well, you're dead, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Wah, wah. Okay, he's running. I don't think he's gonna... Maybe he'll make it? Oh, that was just his oxygen level. Okay. Woo! That was a close one. But that's alright. And, uh, man, he is dedicated to the job. He is right back to it. Uh... I think we'll just put ladders here for now. That should be a fairly high priority. Get that going. Alright, I think this should be fine. For now, I'm going to deconstruct that and make sure we get all of this dug out. And I think we'll have to use a couple ladders for that. We're going to want to fill this in. We're not going to want any of this stuff here. Because that'll just be problematic. Uh, this is probably going to be problematic as well. But uh, I'm going to wall this off. Alright, we need to get this ladder in here oh they were able to get up at least there's that okay so we still got critter starvation going on they seem to be doing all right for now at least they're getting some air in there i probably should put these long hair larvae somewhere else but i don't know we'll see all right, so this should be good for the most part at least the the first couple blasts of this are just going to transfer some of their heat to the water. So it's not going to be significant. Uh, it's going to, it's later on when it's going to be a little more problematic. So we're four cycles away. We could keep pumping the air out for the time being. Uh, hopefully that does okay. All right. This is getting. Very volcano y. I would like regular water. I don't want polluted oxygen getting backed up in here. Alright, so we did get this. Uh... Let's just get this all filled in. I feel like we got to get. Um... We got to fill like all of this in too. Not a hundred percent, but I, I think the, the point of this is to like not give the lava anywhere to go other than over here. I believe that's what we're trying to do here. It definitely doesn't have to be insulated tile either. Oh, no. I thought this was blocked off. No. It's not. Yikes. All right, well, we're getting an idea of what this looks like, I guess. Uh, let's get this all filled in as much as possible. It's a lot of... A lot of heat there. Got a priority nine this stuff. Try to get it done. The good news is I think that steam pushed out all the carbon dioxide, so 
We don't really have to worry too much about that. Let's just keep moving on that. Uh, Metal-wise, I think we do need to get steel plates built here. But higher priority is getting these doors built. Well, that was a little unexpected. I thought that was blocked off. I was wrong. But at least the water is getting filled here. Should make this a little easier. We're going to have a little heat uh, coming up into our base, though. That's, you know, not the end of the world because we have a pretty cool environment overall. But it is definitely going to make it a little toastier. How's this coming along here? Looks like we're starting to hit a breaking point where there's a vacuum now. So hopefully this will all be sorted out before three more cycles. Uh, and the reason that needs to happen is because I need to finish walling this off. I need to redo the gas pipes to actually go to the hydrogen generators. That's the whole point. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, so this is a little bit problematic because they're focusing on building the tiles I told them not to worry about. Uh, the doors still need to be built. I'm going to put this door as a priority because I think that's that's a problem. Let's take a look at the printables, see what we got going on here. I mean, I'm just going to grab Muckroot. I don't really care. Okay. Let's keep going over here and getting this built up. Well, at least at least they didn't finish that tile first. That's good. Um we do need to set up some sort of automation for um for this so i think it definitely has to be some sort of temperature related thing let's go ahead and do a thermo sensor i don't think the material matters for the thermo sensor i don't think it can melt but we'll put it there We'll do an automation wire to here and to here. I don't know if this will work or if I'll even be able to build it because this might be in the way. But we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Looks like our rad problem went away. So I think he got must have gotten temporarily blasted by that. Oh, it looks like they are uh, able to kind of climb down in there and get that wired up. Which is good. Well, maybe not the bottom one, but we'll see. Maybe they can get in through here. Let's just dig that out for now. Maybe we'll deconstruct that. That way we can get in here and finish this up. Uh, priority 9, that as well. Probably should get this all built out as well. Got all sorts of stuff to do here. Let's go ahead and continue building down here as well. Might as well get four built there. All right. So. Is this not wired? Or it is wired, but it's not considered open. I guess let's just try to open that up for now. So we got that one little bit of wire there that's not, not built. Can I come in through here instead where I can reach it? 
Maybe I'll try to do that. See if that works. Looks like the analysis is coming along pretty well. We are definitely producing some <laughs> obsidian. Or, uh, what was it? It would be some of this, right? Well, we'll figure it out. All right, so that's uh, taking its sweet time. They're all busy doing something. Okay, good. This, this all got finally pumped out just in the nick of time. There's 1.9 cycles left. Let's go ahead and get this priority nine built out. Let's get rid of these gas pumps. We need to get rid of that. Set the priority pretty high on that as well. And then we are going to need to fix the ventilation here. So we are going to want to deconstruct all of this at a pretty high priority as well. Um, yeah, get, rid of, get rid of all that. So let's really focus on getting that done. This is going to have to, it's in a vacuum for now, but ultimately we're going to have to put some sort of, uh, now where is that coming from? Where did that natural gas come from? This was a vacuum. And then natural gas just came out of nowhere. Oh, we must have had a duplicate with flatulence or something. Okay. That makes a little more sense. Um, well, that's unfortunate. I think we're going to have to rebuild a pump here and maybe move this uh, high pressure vent up here and just wire that directly in. And then this pump can go directly into, the, into here. And then we can deconstruct. I don't need to disable that building. All right. So, oh no. Okay. So we got to cancel that for now. Because we need, we need the uh, natural gas to be able to be pumped out. So let's set the priority to nine. I got to figure out what duplicate that was and like ban them from ever entering here. That was really unfortunate timing. I was hoping that would not happen. Okay, so we did get that built up. At least there's that. Um, let's go ahead and copy this back to here. So we get that transmission media. Uh, let's go ahead and put a couple of those down. We really just want to make sure we're blocking off any possible spot that this could spawn. Uh, the other thing we have to do is kind of set up some, some insulated tile there. So let's priority nine, all of that stuff. This is all carbon dioxide down here. So it's probably a good idea to just build a vent and like close this off and just pump all of it pretty much straight up here. <laughs> um, I'm fine with molten slicksters. They could, they could stay in here. It's, it's these garbage long hair slicksters. I don't want. All right. So we're continuing to make some decent progress over here. How is this coming along? We got the natural gas getting pumped out. At least this is a vacuum, so this is fine for the time being. This thermal sensor is going to go up to 100 and... Well, the gas that comes out of here is 500 degrees. So this thermal sensor is quickly going to go over 150. It's going to shut the door. It's going to stay that way until the heat gets transferred to the metal tiles. Then it's going to open up. It's going to allow the gas to flow out of here. And then it'll get pumped out from here into the hydrogen generator. So... 
all of that should work perfectly fine, even while we're still kind of cleaning this place out of the natural gas. Um, this is, I mean, we got several cycles where we, we're not going to have to immediately worry about this because this water ha has the ability to absorb some of its own stuff. So I do want to wait for this cycle to kick off and just make sure this works fine before calling it an end to the episode. So let's let time fly by a little bit and see where we get. I also want to make a little more progress on this. This is going to be very interesting. Uh, we do need to build here and here. I do want a priority nine, all of that. Then we're just going to kind of build up, wall this off. Um, probably shouldn't wall it off until we vent it out, but. Because we're going to want to vent out this whole, this whole space. So this is temporary, this, uh, what I'm putting here. I'm going to put an airlock, like a sideways airlock here. And then I'm going to make them have to come through here to get into here. At least for the time being, just so we could start getting this stuff ventilated out. Uh, let's go ahead and do a manual airlock. We'll just do gold amalgam for now so it holds up to... Some of the temperature shenanigans. We have an irradiated dupe again, it looks like. That's all right. All right, so this doesn't erupt for another 14 cycles. We've definitely got some time to get this all figured out. Ventilation-wise, let's put a, like a steel gas pump over here. We're going to need power coming down here anyway, so let's go ahead and kind of dig this out a little bit. Maybe instead of putting this right here, I'll learn from my mistakes, and we will set up a heavy watt joint plate and then hook up the, the ventilation. And then we'll get some power going. You can hook that up there and then this can come up through here i haven't thought about how i'm going to wire this in yet because it looks like over here is our our main line maybe we come across here and just kind of do one of these janky things for the time being <coughs> but we'll figure that out we got, uh, we got some time. Go ahead and plan on digging this out as well. This is not relevant or necessary anymore, so we can deconstruct that pump. All right, this, this gas is going to take forever to pump out again, so we'll just let that do its thing for the time being. It's going down. It's just taking a while. How frustrating. Well, this should go off any second, so at least there's... At least we've got that going for us, hopefully. Alright. 0.2 cycles. We'll keep making progress here. I, I'm not going to disable this yet, but I will at some point. Or shut this airlock. Probably once this ventilation actually gets uh, built. Let's go ahead and get this going up here. I think it's probably fine to just vent it across here. It's all going to get picked up by this pump anyway. All right, let's take a look at what's <clears throat> going on here. All right, the temperature is climbing, but it has not climbed up enough yet. Uh, I am going to just manually shut this door for now just to give it time 
to build up. Now, oh, okay. So here's what I wanted to do. This needs to be set to like 1500. So it doesn't even try to, to send. And then I'm just going to wait to get this started. Like wait for this temperature to get up. It's going to take a little while because it's got to heat up all these materials as well. So we're just going to bide our time. And I mean, the thing is, it's under 40 something degrees right now. So I'm not overly worried about it. Because even, the, even that temperature is perfectly acceptable. So actually, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to open this up. It's going to come out into here. It's going to pressurize. And then it should get pumped out into here where it's going to start get, you know, get consumed by our hydrogen generators. The one thing I haven't built into here yet, which is something I do need to figure out, is I do want to limit when it's running. I don't want it running all the time. I only want it running when I need power. So I'm going to have to do some sort of like smart battery setup and then probably some hydrogen storage as well just to keep the gas somewhere safe for a while. But here we go. Looks like it's going in there. It's producing energy. And then it's turned off. So it seems like three is more than enough. Yeah, look, at, it is giving us a little, little bit of battery juice. So it seems to be going pretty well. All right. Stop moving while I'm clicking. Okay. Let's go ahead and why not get another Slickster? We could wrangle them. No, we can't wrangle them. Let's just murder them. We have Slicksters. We don't need more. Okay. So I think we are in a good spot here. We'll put the cut in for today. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please consider hitting the like button. If you want to see more content in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. And we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.